Hey guys, so today I'm installing this thing here. I'm actually up on the roof now, but this is called Togo. It's powered by WineGuard. Um, could be a little noise here. I'm in a park and the air conditioner just kicked on and people are gonna be moving in and out. So uh, I've got the dogs inside so I can't turn the AC off. But anyway, I'm gonna be installing this today. This is something newer. Um, it is by WineGuard, it's through AT&T, but for $360 a year, you can get unlimited internet through this and it has a Wi-Fi extender built in as well. So it's just like the WineGuard Connect except only for AT&T. Um, so the plan is, is I'm gonna put it here in the center of the roof. So you can see the ladder there, you can see the stuff I'm gonna be using. Pretty much just a drill, some lap sealant, and a measuring tape to kind of measure it to where I want it to be, kind of in the center. Um, here's to the front of the RV. And there's actually a lake just beyond those trees. I'll do a campsite review on that here soon. But essentially, I'm going to set it here and I'm going to run it down the refrigerator vent and I'm going to get it powered inside the refrigerator vent and then mount it to a wall from inside of there as well. There's an on off switch. But I plan on showing all this as we get through it, and I will show you how it works and what it does. And then, hopefully, if this is something you're interested in, you'll be able to jump in too. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead. There's four screws on this right here. Um, as you can see here, one, there's one over here, and two on the back side. I'm gonna get this thing lined up and centered up where I want it. And then I'm gonna run this wire and drop it down that vent. I've gotta take this vent up. Um, but as soon as I do that, we are in pretty good shape and we should have uh, should have power to it. And I will show you the dropping it down and everything as well. Um, but just wanted to get this started. And as soon as I get these screws in and get the ceiling over top of it, I will show you what that looks like. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so now we have the screws in. And here in a minute, I will seal these screws with some lap sealant. And what we're gonna drop the wire down the refrigerator vent. We dug out the sealant that was on top of it. We're taking the screws out now, there's four. And then this will come off. And then we will just drop it straight down. This is my dad here. He's helping me today. So that's the next step in all this. All right, so now we have the cap off. He is gonna cut the metal piece here with my knife. And basically what we're gonna do, there you go, that's good. We're going to take the wire and drop it straight down where he, I wouldn't cut it no more than that, that's all we need. He's going to take the wire, we're going to drop it straight down into this behind the refrigerator vent, and the power will be down there. So that is the next step, and we are actually pretty close to having this done. Okay guys, so now we've got the wire ran. So this is the wire coming out of the back of the uh, antenna. And there, of course, you can see the little where the SIM card goes, if I can get in there. It goes right there. But the wire runs straight through. And then we've dropped it down the mesh right here, so you can see that real good. And now all we gotta do is put this back over top, drop four screws in it. I'll have to reseal these here in just a little bit. And now we'll be able to get down here and get to our electric. Okay guys, so what I used here was just some white lap sealant. Uh, it's the self-leveling die core. And you can see, I just kind of put it on the legs to solid that up a little bit. I'm under trees, so a little bit of leaf stuff's getting in it, but you can already see that it's hardening. Um, and then I did put some on the wire. I've got some rocks here just from the campground holding the wire down. And I also resealed on the top here. So that is in. Um, so essentially at this point, now that we've got it ran down, everything on the top is done. I'll have to come back up here in a few minutes and remove the rocks. But now the next step is just getting power to it. So I'm now gonna step off of here and I will jump down and show you how that works. And I will also uh, be sure to put a link in the description to my Amazon store for this uh, lap seal. It works very well. So either way, we'll jump down and we'll get on to the next step. Okay guys, so what we're doing now, we're installing the switch and this is just on the back of the refrigerator entrance right there. So that makes it a whole lot easier and I'll show you from the other side in just a minute. But my dad's gonna go ahead and drill the hole through here and this is more or less where the switch is gonna live. Go ahead, Dad. 
straight through the motor, and it's probably going to bounce some. Is he through, Earl? Nope. So there's two pieces in between, which is normal. Looks like there's a pretty good gap in between. <laughs> so what we're having to do here is extend the bit just a little bit to hopefully get through. If not, we might have to finish it from the back side. We will. Go through the back side. Okay, so we're gonna have to flip around to finish to the back side. Okay guys, so what we ended up doing, so we've got that original hole that you seen drilled in the last part and it runs through to our closet. I'm gonna try to get as good of a view of this as I can. There's clothes and stuff in here. Um, you can see the hole right there. So then we ran it across and out the other side of the closet to right there. And there you see daylight. So there we're on the back side where that electrical is. And we will run the switch. So the switch will actually be what's, this is the switch. I don't know if I got it correct here. Um, so this switch will actually end up in this wall, right like that, like so. I'll have to get it, I'll have to get it prettied up a little bit, but that's kind of how it's gonna be. And from there, then we will be able to uh, have power, we'll be able to turn it on and off right here as needed, which most of the time it's gonna be on. I really don't want my internet off and it'll be, hooked into the 12 volt power so it will always be going um, and I'll show you where it's coming through outside so you can actually see the hole here what you run up for? and that's where it comes through outside and I'm now my dad who this. is the electrician in the family is getting ready to fix the electrical force so and my brother's here helping as well he's wearing his brave shirt they're, they're still no good. But all right, guys. So I will uh, show you once we get this wired in, how it looks and what we're doing. All right, guys. So now we have the switch wired in. Um, see my dad sitting here holding it. We got the on and off. We got the red going to the black. And we've got a couple little pre holes set up here. So now we're just going to pop the switch in here. We did have to jimmy the hole a little bit with a knife. But other than that, now we've got it fit and flush against the wall. He's just going to throw the final screws in here. And more or less what you're trying to get on this, and I'm not an electrician, so I'm not going to speak high on this, but it's a full circuit. So you've got the black running through um, all the way down from the, from the top of the rig into the switch. And then you've got the red running from the bottom of the switch out, back out, which makes it a complete circuit and is how you break it. Um, I hope I'm saying that correct. But if not, then, uh, you know, that... Um, definitely get somebody that understands electricity to do that part um, but with that now all we got to do is hook in the switches outside and i will show that and that will have this installation complete we'll have an on off switch inside of the rv and we'll have full power on 12 volts so um, as long as i want to leave it on i should always have it powered there you see the switch is tightened up and now we will step back outside and finish this installation Okay guys, so for this next part, which is the electrical part, I'm going to let my dad speak to this because he knows a lot more about electricity than I do. So what we're doing is we're testing the switch to make sure that we've got a full circuit. So go ahead, Dad. Okay, what we've done, this is the wire that comes from the antenna up top. The red, which is, we had to splice it here. It goes back onto the top of the switch in the RV there. The black, which is on the bottom of the switch, which makes it a complete circuit. This should just be a red wire too, but we're, uh, for easy factor here, we're just going to use a black one for the hot wire also. And this is all hot circuit. You'd never run a, a ground to any type of switch or anything like that on, on this type. But uh, well, what we're going to do here, I'm going to test it right here. It should be off. And it is. And I'm going to have my other son cut the switch on inside. You ready? Yes. And you hear that we got a complete circuit there. So right now, the only thing we have to do is hook it up to the electrical part, and we'll be done. All right, guys. So we will get this hooked up to the electrical part, show you what we did, and then we will close out this video, and that will have the Togo system hooked up. 
Okay, here we have the finished product. This is the hot side. This is the ground side. Like I said, this is the hot and this is the ground. We always tape over everything. That's what my son wanted me to do. I generally didn't, but he wanted me to tape over everything, and uh, which that does have a safety factor, I guess. But this, so this is the hot side, which goes to the switch that powers it, then it comes back out, and you'll see a black wire also, and uh, we could have used the same color if we wanted to switch wires and all that, but just made it easier using just the black and red together, and uh, but you gotta put a uh, piece of tape on that, and we will. This is the ground. We tested everything, everything's good. I always suggest that before you hook the electrical part up, make sure your switch is working, ohm it out, and make sure that make sure all your connections are good, and this loose wire here, we're going to, Put some wire ties around that. Uh, always make sure everything's secure and in place. And that's about it. Everything's working. And, uh, and Dad, for people like me who are not electricians, explain what ohming out means. Ohming out just means you, uh, with the ohm meter and you got to make a, a complete circuit. That's all it is. And that's that uh, yeah. buzzing sound you heard when we were yeah. testing it before yeah. with the switch. So that's kind of yeah. that ringing sound that you heard. With so when, it's, when yeah. it's not ringing, then the circuit's not complete, but if it is yeah. ringing, then the circuit's complete, and you can test yeah. that with no power on the line. Yeah. And you have to test the ohm with no power. If you test, if you put it, uh, your ohm machine on the line and it's got power on it, it's going to uh, zap your machine. So, but the ohm in it out is simply with no electricity on it at all. So, well, all right. So I so, want to make sure we got a good explanation on this electricity because that's yeah. the the one piece that's missing from the few installs that I have watched on this. So. Um, so with that, uh, the last piece that we did was uh, my dad actually got back up on the roof and on the back of the uh, Togo antenna where the SIM card is, there's actually a green light um, that will show you that it's getting power. So as long as you see that green light on, you know you're in good shape. So we're there. So my next few steps, um, so this kind of completes them. So I'm going to cover all this back up and run this uh, uh drip line back out for the refrigerator and other than that we are done with the electrical install and so now i'm just on to the actual setup and i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm going to show that in the video or not it's pretty straightforward you follow the directions but i definitely wanted to show the install and the electrical part so i will follow up with a closing here in a few minutes or i'll go on to the next steps and show you what you need to do and we will go from there thank y'all bye bye Okay guys, so I just wanted to close out the uh, video here. Um, this is the next day. I wanted to try this out overnight after getting it set up and so forth. Um, but on the on the internet speed, right now I'm currently getting about 40, anywhere between 40 and 50 megs down is what I'm seeing, which is extremely good. Um, we were able to watch TV on it all night. I was able to tinker around with some videos, watch some other videos, catch up on some of the stuff I've been behind on not having internet for a few days. Um, and also I was able to test the upload speed last night and I'm getting anywhere between 15 and 20 megs up, which is extremely good. I was not anticipating that. I was honestly thinking about two to five. Um, but this system does run, it's AT&T lockdown. So, you know, um, if you're in an area that you do not get good AT&T reception or, you know, if you're traveling around, you may have an area where you don't get good AT&T reception. And for that, because I do have to use this for working, I actually have a Verizon jetpack as well, but it's not on any kind of a booster. Um, but also the other thing I wanted to talk about is, and, and in this video, I'm not going to go through the steps of actually setting up the um, online part of it. There is an app you got to download, uh, and they give you really good directions. But the one piece that I will say is before you mount the antenna up on the roof, be sure to take the SIM card out, and there's a 20-digit number on the front of that and you will have to have that number off of the sim card when you sign up for the uh, yearly program i mean again that yearly program it's 360 dollars for the whole year you do have to pay it up front but it breaks out to about 30 dollars a month um i can't remember what it was with tax i'm sure there was tax on there but um you know whatever plus tax and essentially so far it is working great and um, we loved it last night like i say the signal's really good the speed is really good um we're not way off the grid here but we're also not right in the city or anything either so uh, being at warrior's path we are in a little bit more of a secluded area 
Uh, there's trees all around um, and that doesn't seem to be causing any problem. And also the other piece of this is it does come with a Wi-Fi extender built into it. So even if you're in an area to where, you know, there's campsite internet, um, you can connect to that and have it boosted to your RV. So that's the other piece I really liked about this setup. You're kind of getting two for one. Um, and maybe at some point I'll get a booster for the Verizon side if I think I need it. But so far, I think everything's good and I really don't need it. I'm sure there, there will come an area where I'll, I will find that I do. Uh, but just wanted to touch base, you know, give out that little bit of feedback that I am so far extremely happy with it after the first day. It's doing exactly what I wanted to. Um, and there is a lot of people here in the park, so sorry for any background noise. Uh, a lot of dogs, uh, a lot of nature, so um, just all kinds of stuff going on. We are now officially at Warrior's Path. We'll be here for a couple of weeks. We got to change sites once during our visit uh, just because we didn't book it out that way. But um after that you know we will be here for a few weeks and after that not really sure where we're going yet but wanted to get this video completed just to let you know that this is very well worth it um if you're going through it and you do have any problems after you get it installed um if you have any problems with the actual setup please feel free to comment below if this is something you decide to do and i will gladly help out um, any any way i can i mean you know, if need be i'll give you my number you can give me a call um it's not like i'm I'm too hard to find, so it's not like I've got a top secret number or something. But um, but I, I will help out in any way I can, but it is fairly straightforward, other than, like I say, you gotta get that 20 digit number off of the SIM card. Um, I had to get back up on the roof and get it, so that's why I mentioned that it's better to go ahead and get it beforehand. Um, but other than that, I hope y'all like this video. I hope you find this very helpful to me. I think this is a, a true game changer for rv i've actually talked to one of my buddies in the boating community he is ordering one as well so um even he said in, in their community this will be a game changer because the internet is an issue for all of us um again this is 360 dollars a year it's completely unlimited internet you've also got a wi-fi extender on there um so very very well worth it the overall cost to get started was about 800 bucks for the the equipment and for the uh, package that I bought um, more or less I used Dicor a drill and that's really about it for the install I did use my pocket knife to cut the mesh screen away with the way that we ran it but other than that you know a couple of drill bits um, other than that that was about it so pretty straightforward install I hope the electrical piece helps everybody um, I hope my dad explained that well I think he did uh, I still don't fully understand it so I will say if this is something you try to tackle on your own, you know, definitely get an electrician if it's something you're not comfortable with to at least help you out with that part. Um, but either way, I appreciate y'all watching this. I will include all the links to all this information below. And I hope everybody has a good rest of the week. I will have hopefully a couple more videos coming out this week. Um, I'm planning on doing, a, a, I guess, a review here of the park that we're in, which is Warriors Pass State Park. Um, and I got a couple other videos in mind, so I'm, I'm planning on starting to starting to spit out more videos uh, instead of just on a setup schedule. Then you know, just as I get them done. Um, obviously, you know, with all this, we're we're very busy. Plus, I have a regular full time job I'm working as well. But either way, uh, hopefully, a lot more stuff to come and and a lot more stuff coming out. But um, very much enjoying this. Love the Togo, and and so far, really loving the the RV life full time. All right, y'all. We will see you down the road. I appreciate you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.